Okay, good morning. Welcome to Shiva YouTube. Ian Talina. Today's Simon is Simon Kufsa Mechalev, 161. In our Chai, Milchas Tzilas, There's only four halachas today. One of the halachas is really very practical, right? This Simon basically asserts that if you have something which is, there's a chatzitza by Nathila Sedayim, if something interposes, right, you're supposed to wash, according to the riff, your entire hand. If there's something on your hand that doesn't let the water go in that place, so it depends. If it's a miya chain makbid, right, it's on, right, not a majority of your hand, scab or something like that, or a band aid or something like that, or dirt that you're not makbid on, right, that you, a well, band aid probably you don't want it to be there, but some a little piece of dirt that you're not makbid on. Um, that's okay. And it's called the miya chain on makbid. It's like tvila, which is del raisa. Tvila is like, oh, miya chain makbid is not a problem. So tvila is like, they're abundant, it's not a problem. Now, the question is, when you're wearing a ring, right, is that a problem or not? So, the Rama actually concludes, seemingly concludes, that we're not sure what's considered ruffle or not, right? Because if it's something which you're a mockbit on, let's say a mockbit, right? I don't want to wear my ring um, all the time. For example, when I'm, I'm getting dirty, I'm doing work. A man, he goes and he's building a house. Or a woman, she's, she's kneading dough to make challahs for Shabbos. So she's going to take her rings off. She's makbid. Shas malacha. She wants to take her rings off. She doesn't want them to get dirty. She's makbid on them not to get dirty. So, <clears throat> so she's makbid on them. So it's a mira makbid. She had, bunny, you have to take it off. So then the question becomes, okay, so she's makbid. And maybe the water passes underneath the ring. Not all women's rings are fastened so tightly on their finger. They want to be able to move a little bit so the water gets underneath. So maybe you can rely on that. Even if it's a mir ha-makbir, the water gets underneath anyway, so it doesn't make a difference. Right? So to that, the Ramah is makbir. We don't know what's considered raw for or not. We're not sure. I don't know. We're not sure. You can check if the, the, the water got underneath the ring or not. I don't know why it's so hard to check. But even if it's fast, it tight and fast, tight and, even if it's fastened tightly on the woman's finger or the man's finger, Allah is talking about a man wearing a ring, so it's sure okay to wear a wedding band. A lot of people say, of course, it's Osir nowadays. But, um, however, um, even if it is not rough and the water can't get there, uh, there's a lot of reasons to be make all that a woman specifically shouldn't have to take off her rings for an Antilles and Diamond. Because what happened, the, the main cause for women losing their diamond rings is Antilles and Diamond. They take it off. They think they have to take off Antilles and Diamond. They put it on the side. And they forgot to take it, and it, gets, it goes down the drain, it goes in the garbage, it always happens. It happens a lot of times. And diamond rings are worth a lot of money. And sometimes, if a woman loses it, the man has to replace it. And if he does not replace it, the woman's going to be sad. So it's a very terrible situation. So the best solution is not to have them take it off. But a lot of women feel, based on this Ramah, you have to take it off. So there's many reasons to be making it. First of all, right, a lot of women... It's not so tight on their fingers, so the water gets underneath. Second of all, is there's an, a big cool over that Ramah mentions earlier that not everyone agrees Khatita applies to the Antilas Hedayim, right? Antilas Hedayim, again, is a Dinder Abbanan, right? It's really by true much Dinder Abbanan. It's a minute to do it for a meal. It's even a minute. It's not even really Dinder Abbanan. So, right, the Gemara says, Mayim Achronum Chova, Mayim Rishonim Rishos. It's really a minog. It's not even a Chiyuv. So, to wash Mayim Rishonim before a meal, um, it's not included in Tevil, Tevil of the Chatzitza, but Mithil Zadai, maybe they didn't make a din of Chatzitza. Interposition is not a problem. Another reason they make it is because Mir, here, what ring is Mir, it's not most of your hands. A Mir HaMachbet, even if it's Machbet, that you take it off for Shas Malacha when you're doing work, physical labor, kneading dough, or a man constructing a house, doing woodwork, he would take it off. He doesn't want to get it ruined. Um, still, that's a mira mach, which is the rabbanon. So it's it's a gzera the gzera, right? Because mira mach by tzvila, which is the raisa, is only gzera the rabbanon. So in tzvila's time is at best a dinner rabbanon, probably only a mina. So it's a gzera the gzera, dinner rabbanon and the rabbanon usually ain't goes in gzera the gzera. That's three reasons they make. And a fourth reason they make, I think this makes a lot of sense, is that it's like nail polish over there. Why do you put nail polish on, right? You put nail polish on because it makes you look nice. Now, obviously, when you're kneading dough or something like that, you're not going to take your nail polish off. You don't like to have your nail polish get dirty by the dough that's going to go on, but you'll clean it afterwards, right? 
<clears throat> so, I think Machbid Halav has to be redefined. Something that a Machbid, I don't want it to be there. Something uh, uh, abandoned, I don't want it to be there. It's only there temporarily because I have a wound on my hand. Or dirt or something like that. It looks ugly. But a ring makes your hand look nicer. So, even say that something Machbid. Machbid means I don't want it to be there. To say, because sometimes a Machbid, I have to take it off a Shas Balacha. But 95% of the time, I want it to be in my hand. So, to say it's something that I'm mocked, but I'm not to be there. I don't want it to be there. Is it doesn't make any sense to me at all. And I think that's the main svara. I mean, the other reasons are all good also. But the main svara is not called, it's like I don't want it in my hand. Makim means I don't want it to be there. Tell me a woman doesn't want her diamond ring on her finger? Come on. Come on. She wants it there. This is what she's waiting her whole life for. That's why she wants to get married. She doesn't care about the guy. She wants the diamond ring. You know, and a man, of course, wants his wedding band, you know, to show with all his friends. He's married, right? He did it. So these people want to wear these things. This is not come so Machbid means I don't want it there. I, I'm, I have a kpeda. I have anger that it's there. Tell me that a person doesn't want a diamond ring on it because sometimes they don't want it because they're doing malacha with it. They're, they're needing dough or they're doing instruction work. No, I don't think so. I mean, you have to look really more in the halachas of Katsitsa when it comes to tefillah. But I give you four good reasons why you don't have to take it off. Don't take it off. I'm telling you, even though this is Shira Ian Zalinon and I'm not a rabbi, but I'm giving you good advice. Listen, if you feel like really is a minug, um, don't take it off. And uh, and don't lose your diamond rings because they cost a lot of money and they'll probably be need to, re need to be replaced and you'll go into debt. So be smart about it and don't take it off. There's many reasons to make all over here. Hope you enjoyed today's share. See you in the next one.